Welcome to Introduction to Data Acquisition and Signal Conditioning. This seminar covers electrical measurements, Part 2. Part 1 was presented in an earlier seminar and discussed DC voltage, AC voltage, and current. Today's discussion, Part 2, includes resistance, Wheatstone bridges, single-ended and differential measurements, and Kelvin connections. Ordinary ohmmeters measure resistance indirectly by injecting a small current into the resistor under test and measuring the resulting voltage drop across its terminals. Precision reference resistors, called multipliers, scale analog meters to read in the middle portion of its face, while digital ohmmeters scale either manually or automatically to properly position the decimal point. Digital multimeters similarly apply a DC voltage across an unknown resistor and a precision shunt resistor. The test current generates a voltage drop across the shunt resistor, which is read by the ADC to output a digital value of the unknown resistor. Data acquisition systems, however, do not typically read ohms directly. They measure voltages and voltage ratios across known and unknown resistance dividers and compute equivalent resistor values. Resistance voltage divider circuits can use either single-ended or differential input amplifiers. The known reference resistor should have a value that is close to the unknown value and the source voltage should be low enough to ensure that the current is within acceptable limits such as 1 milliamp or less. For example, when measuring an unknown resistor near 1000 ohms, select a 1000 ohm reference resistor and a supply of 2 volts DC. This produces a current of 2 divided by 2000 or 1 milliamp. A 1000 ohm reference resistor keeps the current relatively low and satisfactorily measures unknown values down to the 100 ohm range. The unknown resistor value is calculated from the following equation. This graphic shows us the equation for the voltage divider resistor, where V sub M equals the measured input voltage, V sub S equals the source voltage, R sub K equals the known resistance, and R sub U equals the unknown resistance. For example, where V sub S equals 2 volts, V sub M equals 1.10 volts, and R sub K equals 1000 ohms, then R sub U, the unknown resistor, equals 1222.2 ohms. Constant source voltage drop methods to measure unknown resistances use both two and four wire circuits. Two wire circuits should be avoided for measuring very low to moderately low resistances because the lead wires and connections can become part of the total resistance which is added to the unknown value. Resistance measurement errors come from a number of sources. The most common errors in low resistance circuits for simple constant current voltage drop methods using two wires come from the lead wire resistance and connections added to the unknown resistance. Keeping the lead wires short and using four-wire circuits such as Kelvin connections can minimize these errors. Errors in high resistance measurements can come from the shunt resistance of insulation, such as in wiring and connector bodies. When using a current source and measuring the voltage drop, use high input impedance measuring devices, whether they are voltmeters or signal conditioner inputs. For extremely high resistor measurements, Use a voltage source and measure the current using short lead wires and robust connections. Wheatstone bridges often measure precise resistances and extremely small resistance changes. A typical bridge circuit is arranged in a symmetrical pattern of equal value, series parallel resistors across a power source. When all resistors are identical, the voltage drops across them are equal, and the voltage between nodes A and B is zero. When one or more resistors are not equal, which is usually the resistor under test, the bridge unbalances and a null meter placed between the nodes measures the amount of unbalance. An adjustable resistor or a potentiometer can be placed in one arm of the bridge to manually rebalance the circuit. When the potentiometer drives the meter back to zero, 
Its value then equals that of the unknown resistor. The potentiometer comes with a precision calibrated readout device that indicates its resistance, which is also the value of the unknown resistor. To view the remainder of this tutorial, please visit the on-demand tutorials in the resources section on Measurement Computing's website at www.mccdac.com.